Okay, so welcome to this next video in which we are discussing uh, the concept of a field extension. Okay, so we're in the process of discussing uh, why uh, this set that I have defined, which isn't here, uh, oh yes it is, here it is, uh, this set that I have defined, which is the set of all things of this form, where you have in position 1 a rational number, and in position to a rational number in front of the square root of 2. Uh, why this, under these addition and multiplication laws that I have to find, why this is a field. And then what we're going to see is how uh, we can think of the um, field of rational numbers being contained within uh, this field and uh, how there will be a solution to this equation x squared minus 2x minus 1 within this um, new field that I've defined here, and then we want to see the um, rigorous definition of a, a field extension. Alright, so we're in the process of discussing why uh, this field that I have described is actually a field. Okay, so we are at the process of checking uh, multiplicative identity. So we said that 1 plus 0 times the square root of 2 is going to be our multiplicative identity, okay? Because if you multiply it by anything on the um, right here, it will just give that thing back again. Now let's try multiplying it by an unspecified element. Whoops, what am I doing here? An unspecified element on the left here. So a plus b the square root of 2 times 1 plus 0 the square root of 2. Let's see what the answer to this is. So, we have our multiplication rule here, so we're going to take a and we're going to multiply it by c, which will give us a back again. We're then going to take b and multiply it by d, which will give us 0, even when we multiply that by 2. We're then going to take a and multiply it by d to get 0. We're then going to take b and multiply it by c to get b. So we'll get a plus b the square root of 2 back again. So again, it has regenerated uh, the original element back again. So we have uh, an additive, sorry, a multiplicative identity. Okay, now what we want to show is multiplicative associativity. Okay, so we want to prove that if we take the symbol a plus b the square root of 2, we multiply it to c plus d, the square root of 2, and now I will just use juxtaposition of the two symbols to represent multiplication. We then get the answer to that and multiply the answer by another symbol, e plus f, the square root of 2. We want to prove that the overall answer that you get is the same as if you take uh, the symbol a plus b, the square root of 2, and multiply it to the answer of c plus d the square root of 2 times e plus f the square root of 2. Okay, so we want to prove that the answer to these two is the same, basically. Right, so let's get the answer to this side and show that it's going to be the same as the answer to this side. Now, of course, we know this is going to happen because of the way that we've defined multiplication. We've defined it as though we're just multiplying polynomials, basically, within the rational numbers. And that's why this is all going to work nicely. But let's do it anyway. Okay, so firstly, let's multiply out this side here. So firstly, these two multiplied is going to give this exact answer here. So it's going to give AC plus 2BD plus AD plus BD, sorry, BC uh, times the square root of 2. And we're then going to have that multiplied to E plus F the square root of 2. Now what's the answer to this? Well, it's going to be all of this multiplied by E. So Let's write that out. It's going to be a, c times f. And of course, we know that because we're dealing with a field, we don't need to worry about which order we're multiplying these in with. Um, sorry, we don't need to multiply which... Uh, we don't need to worry about which order we're multiplying these in, OK? Because associativity and commutativity together make sure that everything is very nice, OK? And I shouldn't have written a, c, f there. It should be a, c times e. AC times E here, then we should have plus 2BD times E, okay, and then we're also going to have plus ADF uh, times 2, okay, plus BCF times 2, so 2BCF, 
because you get the 2 from multiplying the two square roots of 2. And then we're also going to have, in front of the square root of 2, we're going to have uh, AD plus, sorry, ADE plus BCE, and then we're going to have plus ACF, so this one here multiplied by F here, plus 2BDF, and all of that in front of the square root of 2. Right, so that's the answer to this problem on this side. Now let's do the equivalent problem on this side. So we'll firstly multiply these two together to get CE plus 2DF uh, plus uh, CF plus DE times the square root of 2. Okay, so that's the answer on uh, to this problem here. And now we're multiplying it by A plus B, the square root of 2. So firstly, let's take A and multiply it by this. So we'll get A times C times E plus 2 times A DF from the A multiplied by this. Then we'll get B times all of this, and everything uh, there needs to have a 2 in front of it. So we'll have 2 times BCF plus 2 times BDE. Okay. Then what we need is the A multiplied by this to give us plus ACF plus ADE. Then what we need is the this portion here multiplied by the B to give us BCE plus 2BDF all times the square root of 2. And I'm hoping that that's going to be the same as what we got on this side. Okay, and of course if we were doing this totally rigorously, we'd have had to track exactly which ones we were doing in which order of, in these multiplications of four elements in some cases. And we then have to apply associativity and maybe commutativity, uh, commutativity in the rational numbers to get everything to work nicely. Okay, but of course we know how to do algebra within the rational numbers, so I'm just sort of uh, skipping those uh, steps. Okay, so here everything seems to add up, so here this adds up with this, BCF is here, 2BDE is here. Okay, let's check this one, ADE is here, BCE is here, ACF is here, and 2BDF is there. Okay, so those seem to add up nicely. So associativity works. Okay, uh, next